what is up welcome back to science squad and in this actual noob to master series video i'm gonna answer one very specific and i guess a little bit surprising or maybe not so much question of which i get a lot and if you've seen some of the videos you might have the same question for example why would i append or add a prefix of plus plus before my interactive components or elements I want to animate or interact with. The key reason and a little bit of history, I guess, which is gonna add a little bit more context is that back in the day, Axure used to be much more rigid and it was very hard to tell which of your components, even if you would give names, are interactive and which are not. And imagine that this is my wireframe for whatever reason it looks like this and if i would want to select one of them i would end up with a massive list of items and i mean this is kind of like a best practice of actually i guess to add a name for each of them which you want to animate or interact with right if i remember correctly you didn't even have an icon to showcase exactly what's the type of it so everything was like an object which you had to figure out is it a dynamic panel is a text item when they introduce a checkbox, which basically hides all the um, dynamic panels and stuff, as you can see filters, it was just a checkbox back in the day. And I could just show the dynamic panels, let's say. And if everything would has a name. Back in the day, the plus plus to me was like an indicator that any item which had it, I, I would name everything. I would give a name to every single one. So this could be a circle, this could be a block, this could be an image one, image two, maybe more descriptive like a landscape or something like that. But the plus plus to me indicated that I can interact with it. And it's purely that, it's a legacy thing which I still remember. However, if I have many of them and I don't remember the name of what register item is and I'm like, I need to pick, let's say one item from a ton of them which are interactive. And so I would just go straight there and just add plus plus and see all the interactive items and ignore everything else which are non-interactive. I would still recommend, even if Axure got very advanced with their filter sorting functionality to come up with your own syntax, maybe, you know, some of the items are which are plus plus are very critical, which you want to always refer to. Uh, just one plus maybe indicates that we have some interaction and everything else has no interaction. And so this is the key, the basic logic. And why plus plus? If I'm correct, I had maybe a star even, I had exclamation points. However, because Axure produces this JavaScript code, there used to be some issues. And if I would name it in, in a specific tag, the HTML, the compiler of a browser would render it broken. And then the prototype wouldn't work and I would have to backtrace and rename everything. And so plus plus worked immediately out of the box and that was the reason. And as per usual, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Give a like if you like this video, if it answered your question, subscribe to this channel and until next time.